I said. Oof. I should get myself to bed earlier today. Did you know I grew up in the city, too? Oh, this farm was my Aunt Vivian's place. Oh, she was a firecracker, that one. Ran it all on her own. She never did marry. Said she had no use for a husband. <laughs> I think she left a lot of broken hearts in her wake, though. have a cat a cat <laughs> the last cat i had was old shadow rest his soul he wasn't much to look at but he was a darn good mouser this cat isn't yours <laughs> she seems awfully familiar with your garden oh no i don't own that cat what a notion she's a good friend to have around though so play nice soil too tight now you'll choke the seedlings oh hello thomas i didn't hear you that's because i don't wear big clumpy boots like you city folk anyway <clears throat> not a bad effort for your first plot wow you give compliments don't make me regret bringing these for you <laughs> thank you but what's the occasion hazel's a good woman strong but you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds, well, she's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds.
Good to have the garden in full bloom again. You two were friends when you were little. Well, Lena was older, so she kind of used to babysit me. Oh, like Julia does with us. It's not a bad hustle. She gets paid to play with us. So, you moved here to help out on Hazel's farm? Do you know anything about farming? Not even a little bit. Oh, don't sweat it. I would only worked in my parents' kitchen before opening my own butcher. I mean, you've at least had a garden or potted plants before, right? <coughs> Not really. Oh. W well, good luck. do you remember about polynomial factorization? Sebastian, I don't even remember what that is. <laughs> That's what I told Miss Soft when she said I should pay more attention in Algebra 2. There's quite a few of us who moved here from a city. Francis, Kim, Parker, and Messenger Cameron, of course. We're taking over. <laughs>